Okay, this is how you set up and take measurements for semiconductor gap spectroscopy and also how to calibrate this Ocean Optics USB 4000. So the first thing you do is you plug it in. Let's plug in power first. Next, you plug in USB. Turns on. Next thing you do is you click on the the rainbow icon with the FS, the Spectra Suite icon. Loading up, you should notice the data or the machine up here in that corner. Now to calibrate, do File, New, Absorption Measurement. Choose the device, click Next. Set the integration time to about 50 or 60. Set the averages to 10 and turn on the strobe enable. Okay, we get a nice peak. I'm going to change it to 55. Okay, that looks good to me because this number isn't pink. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to with this checked, I'm going to click on the light bulb. And this takes a reference spectrum profile. And I'm going to click next. And I'm going to uncheck that box up there, strobe lamp enable. And click on the dark light bulb. When I uncheck that, it turns off the light. And now I have a, a uh, spectrum with the light turned off. A reference spectrum with the light turned off. And I'm going to click finish. One of the things I forgot to mention is you can X out this graph A before you start. Um, and yes, close that graph. The next thing you do is you turn the lamp back on. You notice we have a nice flat, um, nice flat, not noisy, non-noisy graph. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, is so I'm going to take my sample and I'm just going to slide it in there. And I have a nice peak. This one is really dirty, so there is a lot of noise. I'm going to click Play Pause. And, uh, and if it wasn't a noisy sample, I would just have one nice peak right here. Or if it wasn't a, a really dirty sample, I'd have one nice peak right here. Um, it has some sticky stuff on it, distorting it. So that's how you take your data. And to save your data, you just do file. Well, let's do it over here. Let's do save. And down here you need a grams FTC. That's a thermal uh, a thermal file. Now you have to hit browse. And let's say I just wanted to save it on my desktop. Let's call this test sample. Test sample one. And I click save. And now you have to hit save again. Okay, now it's done. Go ahead and hit close. Next, you can go to the next sample. Let's say I swap it out. Hit play pause. Now I click the save button again. You browse to where you want it. Save it. And, uh, Now you want to call this test sample two. And click save, and then you have to click save again. So test sample two. Save and save. And that's it. Once you're done taking measurements, you can just close this out. Hit yes, and you can just unplug it and put it away safely. And that's it. Thanks for watching.